Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, this weekend, uh, we didn't have any big fights on, no big names, but what we did have was some fantastic uh, small hall action, and I'm doing a few videos for each of these fights that I think are worth mentioning. Uh, at the York Hall, there was this absolute war uh, between Martin McDonough and Conor Marsden. Now, I'm going to leave the link in the descriptions box for you to go and have a look. The whole card's really good. Or you know, you've, got the, you've got the few a few of the journeymen versus the prospects. But there are, there are three great fights, or very three fights that, that fluctuate between being very good and brilliant, which you've, you've got to have a look at. And one of them was the Conor Marsden versus Martin McDonough, and it was for the uh, central area. I can't remember whether it was a lightweight or the light welterweight title, but you've got these two warriors, Martin McDonough, was a challenger, uh, 10 wins, two defeats. Only one of his wins was by knockout, and he, he had been stopped before once in his two defeats. I uh, can't remember that. I think it was, oh, yeah, yeah, it was. It was Harlem Eubank. Yeah, he gave Harlem Eubank a tough fight, and he got stopped in the last round. It was an eight rounder. <clears throat> but a real tough guy. Um, pressure fighter, puts it on you, doesn't stop coming forward, doesn't really know how to box at range, not really. He's very much the pressure guy. Um, Skills aren't great, you know, but but the guy's got heart. I mean, he's a terrific, terrific heart on him. Um, and Conor Marsden um, was going in. He was the champion. He was going in with uh, six wins, two defeats. Of his six wins, two were by knockout. Of his defeats, um, what one was by one was by stoppage to Craig Woodruff. Uh, that was back in 2019, and he'd won the the um, uh, the Southern Area title by beating um. Mickey O'Rourke over 10 rounds. Not Mickey Rourke, Mickey O'Rourke, uh, who at the time was undefeated. So both these guys, you know, they're not journeymen. They're, they're, they're good sort of, I suppose, area or, or maybe, you know, English level fighters. And Conor Marsden, the, the striking thing about him is that even though he's a lightweight, light welter, he's six foot two. <laughs> he looks like a collection of limbs tied together in the middle, like a praying mantis. And he looks really awkward. He's got this weird stance with the legs where they're slightly bent and the, the knee sort of it's like a 10 to 2 thing going on there he looks really awkward um, and he doesn't look like he's got that much durability because he's so tall and thin which you know, can be deceptive uh, but he proved in this fight that he's yeah he's, he's got bottle he's got heart he's, but maybe not stamina maybe, maybe he is a little bit weak physically weak and not able to soak up uh, as much pressure as his heart wants him to so you got Martin McDonough, who was about four or five inches shorter. Um, Conor Marsden, only twenty-seven years old, so he's got you know he's probably coming into his prime, um, and I think that's the same age as Martin McDonough. So they're both they're both sort of edging towards their prime years, uh, and the fight starts. And to be honest with you, the first three rounds I thought were very very close. Marsden, um, excuse me, McDonough putting on the pressure, and. Despite the fact he's so tall and rangy, Marsden seems to like this. He fights small at times. He wants to. He should be keeping things long, obviously, because he's got such wide, such long dimensions. But he's, he should be popping the jab. Instead, he's getting in close. He um, McDonough was able to get close frequently and quite easily. He wasn't getting popped as he was coming in, and he was getting um, uh, Marsden on the ropes and working him. But it wasn't like he was stinging Mars and like I say neither of these guys has got a big punch but he was outworking him and the first three rounds I thought I thought McDonough was 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 the he, he took the lead certainly and they were close rounds it wasn't like one guy was totally dominating the other I just thought um McDonough did the better work now in the in the middle rounds sort of from four five four five six seven Marsden started to find his jab find the range and started to make uh, McDonough suffer when he was coming in Suddenly, he was getting popped when he was coming. He was getting jabbed at long range. He had to get in close because no way could he could he um, outbox Marsden. And Marsden was, you know, even when he even when uh, McDonald was coming in, Marsden was doing some good inside work and make, he was making him. He was punishing him for daring to walk through that front door. Uh, and he definitely, to me, he won those, most of those middle rounds. So I think I had him after seven rounds. I think I had him four three up. Did I give him the? To give him the eighth round, I can't remember offhand. But what was noticeable around about the eighth, eighth round was that McDonough was able to get close. And this time, possibly because Marsden was losing some energy, his stamina was leaving him, 
he was actually starting to, you know, quite sort of hurt Marsden, not shake him to the point where he was all over the place, but he was just draining the energy out of him. And Marsden was was having to work, especially up close, at a pace he didn't like. And despite the fact that McDonough looked exhausted himself, he was not going to stop coming forward. This was a classic pressure fighter versus rangy boxer thing. Um, and in that eighth round, there it seemed like that there was a turning point. Now, in the ninth, it was more of the same. McDonough was putting the pressure on Marsden, draining him of even more energy, landing some hurtful punches, even though he's not a big puncher. I think it was a mixture of the, the accuracy, the work rate, and the fact that uh, Marsden was <laughs> knackered, to be honest. Um, but McDonough was able to continue draining him, and he hurt for the first time. Marsden looked hurt at the end of the ninth round. He looked shaken. And he was really skipping around the ring, couldn't really stay off the ropes, was holding his guard quite high, but wasn't able to um, to keep McDonough at bay. Now, in the 10th round, I had, after, it was a 10-round fight, because area, area title fights are 10 rounds, not 12. It was the last round, and <clears throat> McDonough's corner said, go after him, go get him, go knock him out. And he did. He actually did. He was behind on points. And I, I, I think I had after nine or where did I have it? I'm trying to remember now. I think I had it six three for Marsden. And I thought, okay, McDonough needs a knockout, but he hasn't got any, any real power. The only way he's going to do it is if uh, Marsden's just so knackered he can't stand up anymore. I was wrong, because McDonough did find a knockout punch. It was an amazing, amazing scenario. Um, first minute. Marsden still looked hurt. I've got to be honest with you. But he was looking to hold. He was looking to grab. He was, you know, he was popping the odd, the odd jab. He was throwing the odd right hand. But they were more like stay off me punches. You know, he wasn't really able to hurt McDonough. McDonough was creeping forward, creeping forward, constantly pushing Marsden into the ropes, letting his hands go. But the knockout came at range because even though Marsden was skipping around the ring, putting his earmuffs on, trying to keep McDonough off. He looked, he absolutely was trying to kill the clock, Marsden, because he, he was just so exhausted. They were, there was there was a, a little point where there was some space between them. Um, Marsden had his guard up. McDonough was looking for the big punch. Marsden back to the ropes. McDonough fainted, unleashed a hellacious left hook, which landed slap bang on the button. And Marsden collapsed sideways into the ropes, hanging. I think was he hanging on the bottom rope, or was he? I think he bounced off the bottom rope and he was on the floor. He was still conscious. He was so exhausted he could barely stand up. But the referee waved it off. So and that was in the final minute of the fight. So Martin McDonough became the um, the Southern Area. Is it? Light? I can't remember. It was lightweight or light welterweight champion with a last minute knockout of Connor Marsden and this he was behind on points. I had him behind on points. I don't know what the what the the, the, the referee is the sole arbiter. I don't know what he, what his score was. But I thought and the the, the commentators who were uh, Spencer Oliver and I can't remember the other guy's name, but they were they had him behind as well. I think I think the commentary was probably accurate. Um Marsden had had been jabbing well, boxing well in those middle rounds, he but he just ran out of energy. And even though he's 27, he looks he looks like he hasn't got his man strength yet. Maybe he hasn't. Maybe he'll fill out a bit and be physically stronger and have more stamina. But well done to Martin McDonough, who, um, you know, these are two guys that, that don't duck anyone. They'll go in with anyone. Good fighters, good area level fighters, English level fighters. Um, McDonough's the champ now. Marsden can come back if he wants to. I don't see why either of these guys should go down the journeyman route. I think they're, they're both candidates for future area of titles, maybe the English title. Uh, brilliant, brilliant fight. Go and have a look. I'm, I'm going to leave the, the, like I say, the link below in the descriptions box. Have a look at this fight. It's well worth your time. Thank you for watching the video. Um, hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hit the like button if you like the video. And I'll speak again to you sometime soon. Look out for more videos. We've got loads of videos for you going way back. This, uh, this channel is almost a year old to the day. So I'm glad, I hope you're enjoying the, the content. And we'll speak again soon. Bye-bye for now.